You see the beauty of these taps? We're not putting the stink eye in, on any individual or establishment. We're simply going in and taking from them what is not theirs. And, and then it's like business as usual to them. We're not interfering in their psychic space at all. This is actually really clean energy work. Well, companies, corporations, financial institutions do have an important role to play in the interaction of the human collective. They just need right. to do it in a way that uplifts the human collective. And the problem is, is that uh, incentives and other things that we're going to address uh, in upcoming group tapping events gets in the way of that and corrupts uh, those that are responsible and accountable for directing corporate behaviour and it results in uh, corporate misconduct. And misconduct, uh, for those that are lawyers out there, is the trigger word for go to jail. Yeah, and, and another thing we're doing is we're freeing all the poor bastards out there who are trapped in one of these businesses who want to do the right thing, but they're over their head. And so they're, they're like trapped in a sarcophagus of, of control where it's freeing them up to like get back to the vocation of their purpose. Oh, okay. Usually I don't say too much, but uh, this session I found, I felt a lot of resistance like from something. I don't know what it was. And I just want to know if we can, because seeing you guys are working so hard, you know, Marvin and Jen, and, and there's something out there. I don't know quite what it is, but can us as a group help you guys somehow with some tats or something? I don't know if I'm even saying it right, but I felt, well, I don't know. Thank you. I don't, I don't think don't it's the tats. I don't think it's the tats. I think it's more like interacting. Marvin has put something on Facebook, the Declaration of Interdependence. What is it? Is that it? Declaration of Universal Interdependence. And the more that you guys support that and invite people to that page and 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 interact on that page, that will that will take the load off us and always having to like like um get the ball rolling. Because that's what wears us out right now. Thank Actually that's a it's an interesting thought for those that are watching this that um aren't on Facebook and I understand that not everyone is a fan of Facebook. I'm certainly not, but you know, it's one of these sort of necessary um, pathways to get the message out. But if you are watching this and you're not on Facebook and you are, your interest has been piqued in relation to this declaration of universal interdependence, uh, just get in contact with us and I'll, send you uh, the PDF of that declaration. It's, it's the upgrade to the original declaration of uh, independence of July 4th, 1776 in America. But it's a declaration of universal inter interdependence for the new age uh, for all peoples. Um, uh, and it transcends uh, any citizens of any particular nation and so um yeah get on board it's going to be quite the thing so what it basically is is like it's like i don't know i can't speak of about from marvin's polarity from but from my polarity what it is is so many people want to be upgraded they want to do the right thing they want to live in higher consciousness they have no reference point because nobody does so what this Declaration of Interdependence is doing is giving people a touchstone to connect to higher consciousness and it reinfuse integrity, sincerity, compassion in their, in their repertoire of how to live because people don't know how to live an ethical life. And they're trying to, and I see them trying to, but all they're doing is like, they're creating these platitudes of old programming and conditioning. Hmm. We'll say a ton more about this declaration <clears throat> and everything that will flow from it, but it is, uh, it's a grassroots 
reimagining of every aspect of how the collective interacts in higher consciousness. And the, the fundamental truth of the matter is that every system process institution that exists today is tainted and not fit for purpose, uh, including the existing constitution in America. It needs to get reimagined. And, you know, this is not America bashing. It, you know, this upgrade is required all over the world. Um, it's just that at the moment, America is being held up as the poster child for democracy. And so we need to make sure that that carries forward. But, um, and, and the thing is that um, the, the foundations of human interaction through things like the Constitution and the conventional wisdom around the role of the corporation and governance systems is so tainted that basically people are scrapping around at the edges trying to band-aid and fix uh, leaky holes without recognising that, hey, we're dealing with a freaking sieve. We need to throw that sieve away and reimagine the fundamental foundations and then build uh, the house on solid foundations. And that's what's going on. But we'll say way more about that uh, in the future. Yeah, one more thing is that the forefathers knew that their vision didn't take them far enough. The forefathers kind of understood that their their understanding of what societal needs would be in the future now would be contested. In America, you see, a lot of the forefathers have reincarnated to this time to protect democracy. You can see them through Raskin, AOC, um, Gavin Newsom, these people who are like just shining stars holding holding democracy in place for us to do the work to raise consciousness. So we're working in tandem with truth holders. Yeah, um, but you said something that's really important there, and I appreciate what you just said. But so a lot of these people, they are holding democracy in place. So they are holding up, you know, the crumbling cards while we then rebuild and reimagine the foundations. Because if that didn't happen, if people like Raskin, AOC, uh, Elizabeth Warren, there are others around there. I'm sure there's you know a dozen or so that I haven't even that I'm even on my consciousness. If they're not there, just holding things up and stabilizing things while the foundations get fundamentally rebuilt, um, you know, uh, things would not work out well for humanity. So that they, they are playing an important role. Um, but they are band-aiding at the moment, and we need to get together, get around a much broader agenda and, and reimagine um, human interaction from the ground up in higher consciousness. That's the foundation, not the Bible, not any other religious text, a fundamental understanding of the you know, universal law, the nature of source, and uh, a recognition of what the purpose of life in its broader context is and what the purpose of each individual's life is within that context. Can I, can I share just, I know people are tired, but a conversation I had with the adepts maybe like um, about 12 years ago is they showed me, they showed me humanity and humanity t needs to have an overhaul. And they, I don't know why they came to me, but they're, basically giving me a choice. I don't know if everyone gets this choice, but they gave me a choice. Should we create cataclysms where we take out billions of people or should we allow them to exist and let them be on autopilot, let, let them upgrade while they're still in the physical here and prevent the cataclysms? And in my psyche, I chose the, the latter. So humans, who would have been destroyed in this cataclysm that didn't happen are allowed to exist and try to hold on to and upgrade their state of consciousness. So I think that's what we're doing here is, is upgrading consciousness without the need of um, 
this devastation, like Steve Bannon and all those people with the, uh, they're trying to bait humanity into a cataclysm of a, a war. And it's not happening because they're at a lower state of consciousness than those of us who are intending, are here intending for a kinder, compassionate upgrade. So that's what's yes. happening in a way. Yeah, and, and the funny thing is, <laughs> um, so in the background, we are working on these fundamental highest order principle things. And in the meantime, we are doing tapping events like today, which is addressing one little sliver. And, and today's tapping event and yesterday's tapping event, which was part one of the um, uh, taking up the mantle of Bill Browder series, we're addressing one little sliver, which is, an, you know, one insignificant asshole called Putin and his sycophants and his kleptocracy and the chaos that he's intending to create. And so that's just one little sliver of a million things that's going on in the broader collective. Um, and so, you know, operating at those levels is quite the challenge. And by the way, it's interesting that... Um, uh, it was interesting to watch Biden stumble yesterday during the presidential debate. But, Jen, I think what you said was that watching that is really a wake-up call, that it is not up to one person, one man in this case, but one person, one soul, to bear all the burdens of, you know, carrying humanity. And it really is a wake-up call that um, the, you know, the broader base movement needs to get behind this. And, and, and we're facing the same um, uh, imperative. Um, so um, get behind it. And uh, we'll do a more formal reveal and launch on the 4th of July in America. But in the meantime, if you're watching this, if you're intrigued, jump onto uh, Facebook, find the Declaration of Universal Interdependence group, uh, sign up, become a member, add your synergy to it, and stay tuned because a whole bunch of stuff is taking place there. That's where you're going to find it. If you like this content and you appreciate the work that we're doing to uplift all of humanity and to help heal your body, mind, and soul, please consider becoming a Genuine Healing Premium Content subscriber. Simply jump onto the Genuine Healing website, genuinehealing.com with a J, and click on the purchase button on the top menu, scroll down, there's a premium content option, click on that, sign up. It's a simple monthly plan for $20 a month and you will have access to all of the premium content that we put up on the Genuine Healing website. We look forward to catching you next time and bye for now.